So it is Friday night, and I'm going to do... I went to Princeton Court Street the other day. Clanging around here, move some wine out of the way, and uh, got a case of wine, all cool stuff. So want to go rather quick because my charcoal is getting ready so I could grill a steak tonight. So I got a trousseau from uh, Jura, the Jura region, east side of France, and light, fresh, red is really the best way I could put it. $31, nice wine. I don't know if I'd... I like trousseau, but when I want something like a lighter wine, it's really... It did... It was nice over two nights. Probably gave it a three, three and a half out of five. It was a nice wine, nothing amazing. So for 31, probably won't get this one again. I'll try some other Trousseaus, but sort of a, just, it was a good wine, bottom line. Good wine, solid wine, nothing spectacular. So I'm gonna talk about each one of these because I had a reason for buying most of these wines. So, uh, and ironically, this one I have like nothing to say except that it's a Barbaresco, Casino Vano, 2019, Canova, I assume is probably the village, $57, 2019, and it just got some pretty brave reviews by the proprietor of Prince and Corkscrew, so I always love a great Nebbiolo, a nice Barbaresco, and a traditional producer using the Albisa glass, so I assume it's traditional, actually what I read, it is traditional using large oak casks, so... That was the second wine. Number three, it's just luck of the draw. Casino Vano. This is just a 2021 uh, Nebbiolo from Longue. So anywhere from the Longue, $26, just an affordable weekday Nebbiolo from the same producer. And nothing really crazy to say about that. Another Nebbiolo, so Angelo Negro from Roero, and I haven't had the most luck with Roero. These are 50 plus year old vines, and I'll just try to get another one, and this one was 32. So a step that a little bit higher up in the Roero here region, Nebbiolo from there. Oh, this is Albisa glass also, pretty cool. So maybe this will be, I'm looking for sort of that, that you know, a $30 cab, that California cab for 30 bucks is always like this holy grail of, cabs to buy and drink I kind of looking for the same in the Nebbiolo world so we'll see Bordeaux so this is Chateau Moulin Saint Georges of the Million Grand, Grand Cru right bank to 2019 55 dollars this is the owners of Chateau Auson which is a really prestigious property on the right bank and this is 80% 80, 80 Merlot, 20% Cab Franc. So really I bought it because the owners of Chateau Asson bought this. I've never had a Chateau Asson. It's very, very expensive, but one of the real great wines out of the right bank. So good prestige. So that is why I, good pedigree. Sorry, not prestige. Good pedigree is why I bought this to give it a shot. So I love Sauvignon, the region Sauvignon in the Loire, Central Loire, made from Chenin Blanc. This is Le Clos Galerne 2020. So a few years of age, $39, so a little bit pricey. But what's interesting about this, as I'm pretty sure it's century old vines, so ancient vines. Let's see if I can find it on my list here. Yes. 100 year old vines so very interesting i would love the ages for a, a long 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 time i probably won't but i love sauvignon as the region and i love chenin blanc as a white grape so that is the reason i bought that one what's next less expensive so, uh, chenin blanc from anjou le petit rouge this was only i think 17 dollars by the least expensive one i bought and was there anything worth mentioning on this? Probably not. Just a lesser priced, lesser priced Chenin Blanc. So, weekday type of white. Much younger too, I'm pretty sure. 20, low ABV too, 12.5. So I expect it to be pretty, pretty acidic and razor sharp. I can't see the vintage anywhere. 
pretty sure it was like a... Oh, it's a 21. So, a few years of age. A few. So, this is a Burgundy from Santini. Premier Cru. Uh, yes, Premier Cru, Claude de Mouche, 2021, Aurore Bachelet, made by the daughter of Vincent Bachelet. And a southern... Mo it's, a, it's in the southern part of the Côte de Bonne. And $60, I liked sort of what it said, and that's really the reason I got it. So, we'll see how it is. I don't know that I've had a Premier Crew from Santene, so they're continuing my exploration of Burgundy. This is sort of where this is, why I purchased this. To give it a shot, and see what it shows me. Another Burgundy here, so Morange, Premier Crew, Clodo, 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 Reg, Reg. Regnador, Regnador, I guess, a difficult one to pronounce here, 2021, so this is the southernmost part of Burgundy, if I'm not mistaken, the southernmost part of the Cote d'Or, so it's in Cote de Bon, but very, very far south, and this one was $48, so another Burgundy, Premier Cru, so instead of village, it's Premier Cru, then Grand Cru, so sitting in there to see what these, these, Pinot Noir. So I've been drinking a lot of the Pinots. Got it to the 2021 Pinots from California. Swinging a little bit to some of these Burgundies to fit that sort of lighter styled wine when I'm in the mood for it. Chateau Chauvin 2020. Another right bank. Centimillion. And the interesting thing about this one is that the co-owner of Lynch, Lynch Bage owns this one. Let's see if there's anything else worth mentioning. It's close to Pummerol, so not much besides uh, that here. Oh, it borders Cheval Blanc, another very prestigious right bank wine, Figuac and La Dominique, and it's 77% Merlot, 18% Cap Franc, 5% Cap Soft. So I guess that is really why. Again, pedigree here, and it's neighbors. So, uh, you know, Cone or Lynch Bodge, great, really great Bordeaux, Chateau, and then this borders a lot of great Chateaus on the right bank. So sort of going for banking on that. Last one, Liquid Farm 2022 Santa Barbara Pinot Noir SBC. I don't know what SBC stands for. Oh, just Santa Barbara County, silly. And this one was $55 and low intervention Pinot Noir. I've heard a lot about Liquid Farm. Start off pretty small. They say these Pinots are great. I, I suspect low ABV and very little oak and just let the fruit be the fruit and this is a 2022 so i don't know how the 2022 vintage of pinot noir was but oh and that's not the final one i had one more this is what i'm opening tonight chateau Meigny, and this one is another one 42 dollars from santa steph so left bank cab heavy 57 cab soft 27 merlot 16 petite for dough it's one of the oldest chateaus in the Medoc, the left bank, and it's between Montrose, Chateau Montrose, which is a super second, second growth, and Felon, Felon Segura, and apparently some of the soil, not most of the soil on the left bank is gravel, the right bank is mostly clay, but they say this particular property has some Pomerol-like soils, so have a little bit of clay too, so we'll see how this thing is. I've been wanting to try this wine for a while, I'm going to have it tonight, I've actually already decanted it, so I could do a quick little taste on it. So it doesn't, what year is this, 2020, pretty sure Bordeaux did great in 2020. Uh, it, it, it smells like black cherry right now, definitely cherry black cherry. Some cassis, this got a great aroma though. It, it's, there's blackberry, like a blackberry jam. I'm not getting any of those classic Bordeaux aromas, which is crazy. Now I'm not getting cedar and leather. It smells awesome. There's a, like a, gosh, what is that? Thyme, like a thyme smell, a sweet thyme, sweet basil. It's a sweet basil. Oh, this wine's going to go great with steak. Good acidity, good body. 
everything on the pal on the nose is on the palate. Little stringent drying tannins, but only the first sip. It's still decanting. This wine's really good. I think this with a decant with food is going to be ridiculously good. Yeah, I really like this. This is really great right now. We'll see how this evolves over the course of the night. I'm going to get my steak going, pair it up with this. And that is the end of this, this case from Princeton Corkscrew. Really exciting. Really, I'm really excited to try some of these. I think some these Burgundies for sure. Some of these Bordeaux. I haven't bought some Bordeaux in a while, so this is pretty, pretty cool. I've been drinking so much white that went a little red heavy here. What, 10 reds, 2 whites, so... See how it goes. Have a good night.